So today I'm going to show you how to install a curb alert on a BMW on a 2009 BMW 335i, and uh, all the everything you need to do this installation uh, in about an hour of time is shown in the picture here, and that's a coat hanger, an Exacto knife, a drill with a 15 30 seconds drill bit, needle nose pliers, two Torx bits, a T20 and a T27, and then uh, some electrical tape, and that's it. The whole installation will take about an hour. And then we're going to go ahead and walk through how to do this. Now, keep in mind, this is a Southern Car Parts exclusive custom package for the 335. It comes pre-crimped, pre-wired, everything you need to connect right into your 335 without having to you know, do any special adapters or um, any special wiring. It's all pre-wired and pre-crimped to plug right into your fuse box and ready to go. Okay, so the first step in installing the curb alert on a BMW 335i is choosing the location for the sensor. And we're going to put ours right here right here up in front of the car up underneath so we'll go through the grill there up through the radiator area and then it'll come out right up here here or there and you can see that we've already drilled this hole out to accommodate room for the USB cable to come through that's the normal size this is just plastic it just drops down into a box there's nothing you can hurt in there so we took this and drilled it out We drilled ours out with a 15 30 seconds drill bit and we kind of had to route it around in there a little bit you know taking the drill and moving it around to give a little bit of extra clearance and uh so that's where the usb cable will come through right there so to get the sensor wire routed up behind your grill and up into the engine compartment you need to take a coat hanger and kind of shape it like this with a little bend to it and that'll allow you to fish your coat hanger through the hole we drilled, or the hole we made a little bit bigger, down into the engine compartment. So you take the coat hanger, take it on down, and it'll drop all the way down to the bottom, down here. And then you can pull it through, right up in here, pull it through, hook your sensor cable to it and then pull it back up and out through the hole that we made up at the top or the hole that we expanded up at the top. So, so you can see we have our coat hanger wire through the hole down behind the grill and then it comes out right here. And then all that we're going to do is attach the USB cord to that and then pull it back up and through. So here's the sensor wire. It's been pulled through. You can see the, the coat hanger I got it pulled through so I'll untape it and then I'll start routing it into the engine compartment. So you can see here we routed our sensor wire up through this hole down along here, underneath, around the hood latch, up and in, and back through here. And you can see there's a pass through there. So we go around and then through. The wire goes right through, comes out right over here. And we're gonna take it and run it along this line here will zip tie it to this. And then you can see we ran the USB cable or the sensor cable through this little wire pass through here. And all you do is pull the wire over, pull this big wiring harness over, and then slide the USB cable through, just like that. So the next part of the installation is getting the sensor wire into the passenger compartment. And it's not hard. Um, you just gotta know where to come through at. And so what you do is you take this panel off underneath your steering wheel, and you can see we've already taken it off, and you use a T20 Torx bit, and there's just three screws. Just take the uh, three screws out, and this piece drops down. And then up in the top left corner, uh, if you had a clutch, um, where you come through, if you don't have, it's to the left of the clutch. If you don't have a clutch, it's just this rubber. There's a wiring harness that comes through. You can see it right there, and you can see the hanger pointing at it. I just took my uh, X-Acto knife and cut a small slit, maybe a quarter of an inch in it. Right there, you can kind of see the slit. And I'm gonna take the coat hanger, push it through, and then pull my USB sensor wire, or my this USB end of the sensor cable wire through there, and then I'll have it in the passenger compartment. You see here, you can see the coat hangers come up through. We pushed it in from the passenger compartment. It's sticking out here. I'm gonna tape the USB wire to it, the sensor wire, and then pull it into the passenger compartment. 
We have the wire, sensor wire tape to the coat hanger. We're going to go ahead and pull it through and bring it into the passenger compartment. Wire, the sensor wire pulled through, so I'm going to untape it from the coat hanger and continue the installation. Engine? Next step is just to get your sensor wire across the center tunnel and over to the passenger side where your uh, fuse box is. Um, it's not hard. Again, take your uh, sensor wire to the end of a coat hanger and run it through the back there. Uh, take, um, from the driver's side, go up and to the back of the tunnel and you can push it right through and then it'll come around and it'll come out on the passenger side right there. You can see it here. So my sensor wires through. And this, this piece here it comes off just like the other side. It's two T20 bolts. Just unscrew them and it drops down. Very easy to get to. Put your sensor wire into the passenger compartment. Just open your glove box. Bring it on up and through. There it is. You got it. So now here comes the beauty of the Southern Car Parts custom install package with the Curb Alert. Is everything's all pre-wired and crimped to install on a BMW 335. Um, so all that you do is you're going to access your fuse panel on the back there, use the connectors that are already on the curb alert, and go to the top left of your fuse panel, and you're gonna plug in right there. It's an empty slot up in the top right, and I'll give you the fuse number, uh, or the schematic number later, but if you go all the way to the top left, there's four, let's see here, You can see there's one, two, three, four, five slots, and then uh, with one 10 amp in the group of five. So I went to the fifth one all the way to the right and plugged in there. Right there, you can see it in the back. And then the ground, you loosen this bolt here with a T27 Torx bit, put the you don't have to take it all out, just loosen it, slip the horseshoe clamp in there, and then tighten that bolt down, tighten that bolt down, and uh, you're all set, everything's wired. Plug in your, your speaker wire, plug in your speaker wire, plug in your sensor that you routed in. Now I've got the excess speaker wire bundled up, excess power and ground wires bundled up, curb alerts hooked up, speaker wire I ran down and through. You can see it hanging down here. I'll mount it permanently in a second. I'm just gonna take the curb alert. I'm not even gonna stick it in. I'm just gonna lay it back there in the in the fuse compartment. I'm not gonna close it up yet because I may need to do some calibrating. I'm just gonna lay it back there like that. You can see it's sitting back there. It's out of the way, it won't rattle, and that's uh, totally hidden. Okay, so we put all our panel, we put our floor panel back in. You see it's all buttoned up nice and neat. Can't even tell we were in there. Same thing on the other side. You see it's all finished off and we left the speaker hanging out. We'll mount it shortly. We're going to go position the sensor next. And now we're going to finish this up. We're going to mount the speaker. Just take an alcohol wipe and wipe right here real good to clean it off so we get good adhesion. And then we're going to take the, the sensor, center it, take off the double the tape, center it right up under the car there, push it into place. So push it in and angle it to an approximate angle where we think a curb would be. And you can see, can't even really see it on the car now. I guess if you get down and look for it, you can see it, but uh, it's pretty well hidden, blends in well. So now we'll go ahead and mount our speaker and finish this off and calibrate it. That's your speaker is entirely preference. We chose to put it right there on the uh, left side. I don't think it'll get kicked there, and uh, I think it's still in a good enough position where you can hear it. But there's plenty of places you can mount it up under there. You could possibly even try to put it in the glove box, but I don't think you'll hear it very well, but it's certainly something you can experiment with. Surprise how we did this. We mounted the sensor on the front of the car. You can see where we put it right down here. Barely noticeable. And up around in the radiator area and out through this hole here is our sensor wire. 
comes around, around, you can see all the routing up and through here, back, and then we zip tied it to this, this uh, cable here, followed it around, zip tied it there, went through this opening here, zip tied it there, and then down through that grommet that's, uh, that I showed you on the inside of the car. And uh, that's it, everything's all put back together and the curb alert's installed on a 2009 BMW 335i. And this installation should work for all 3 Series BMWs.